Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Soups channel. My name is Matt Soups Ramos and on this channel I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So guys, today we have some news and some details about Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4. Obviously, a ton of us are just massive diehard Spider-Man fans and we're all ready to see this next chapter for Tom Holland's Spider-Man saga. You know, with the way No Way Home left off for Peter Parker and his character, it was the perfect point for us to get just a grounded Spider-Man story that just sees Peter struggling with that duality of Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Now Peter doesn't have the help of Stark Industries backing him up. He doesn't have Tony Stark in his corner. He doesn't have even Happy Hogan. He literally has no one. And I think the best Spider-Man stories thrive off of Peter overcoming insurmountable odds and learning how to continue to keep going even though he might not have all of the help in the world. So when it comes to Spider-Man 4, you know, we're obviously very excited for this project, but it's been reported in the past that when it comes to the development of Spider-Man 4, there have been a ton of disagreements between Marvel and Sony. It's been reported that Kevin Feige and Tom Holland want Spider-Man 4 to be a more grounded story, whereas the people at Sony want Spider-Man 4 to be another multiverse movie. The people at Sony also want John Watts, who directed Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Sony wants him to return for Spider-Man 4, whereas Tom Holland and Kevin Feige and the people at Marvel Studios want a new director to take on the project and set forth a new vision for these next set of Tom Holland Spider-Man films that we're going to be getting in the near future. So it's been very up in the air as to where they're going to go with Spider-Man 4. Is Sony going to win this battle? Is Feige and the people at Marvel Studios going to win this battle? Well, I'm someone who's always been on the fence and I've always said, guys, there's no need to worry because Kevin Feige somehow, some way is going to find a way to get his way. And it looks like that's the case because now today it's being officially reported that Spider-Man 4 is looking to start filming this, this September or October and a new director is being looked at to helm the project. Right now it's come down to basically three choices and we know two of the choices. One of them is Drew Goddard who directed a lot of the Netflix Daredevil series. We know... We, we know, we've heard multiple different rumors that Daredevil is going to play a pretty huge role in this next Spider-Man film. So that makes a lot of sense. He's done a lot of great work. And then the other name that's, that has been thrown into the mix today is Justin Lin. Justin Lin is best known for directing a lot of the Fast and the Furious movies. You know, he's directed Fast Five, Fast Six, Fast Nine. And so he's basically known for directing a lot of the Fast and the Furious movies. And he's being... I'd as like the top choice to direct Spider-Man 4 currently. It's also been additionally reported to no one's surprise that both Tom Holland and Zendaya will return for Spider-Man 4. It's just recently been announced that Euphoria Season 3 has been delayed indefinitely and now it's been reported that a part of this reason is because Zendaya is very committed to Spider-Man 4 which is of course starting to film in the fall of this year. So with that being said, you know, we have Tom Holland and Zendaya coming back for Spider-Man 4. You know, Zendaya and Tom are already such a popular couple in real life. And they have such a, you know, everyone kind of just loves Tom Holland and Zendaya together. Like, who doesn't love seeing them together? Um, Zendaya is also becoming more of a megastar every single day. She has just had Dune, Dune Part 2. Now she has Challengers coming out in theaters pretty soon. So with Tom rising in stardom with Zendaya rising in stardom, it was inevitable that they were gonna bring back MJ at some point. However, me personally as a fan, coming off of the ending of No Way Home, one of the things that made that ending so special was that moment in the cafe at the end where Peter finally learns to let go of MJ and let go of everyone he loves in order to pursue his life as Spider-Man because that life bears way too much responsibility and is way too dangerous for the people he loves. So that's one of the things that made No Way Home so beautiful and one of the reasons I love that film so much. So I personally would have loved to have seen a film without MJ and then maybe you reintroduce her at the end of it in a post credit scene or whatever the case may be and that sets up Spider-Man 5 to be kind of like the reunion between Peter and MJ. However, it seems like there isn't really gonna be a break at all. You know, at the end of No Way Home, MJ is going off to MIT Peter is staying in New York, so I don't really know how they're going to write it in a way where this is going to be another film with Peter and MJ together. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's going to be the case either, because 
Obviously, you know, coming off the events of No Way Home, things are going to look very different for this new Spider-Man film. And this is going to usher in a new era of Spider-Man films by a new director with a new vision, with a different vibe, which is something I'm really excited to see for Spider-Man 4. Honestly, when it comes to whoever ends up directing Spider-Man 4, I just hope it's someone that's going to bring sauce to these movies. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to like the Sam Raimi style of filmmaking where these Spider-Man or the, even the Amazing Spider-Man films where these these the action in these films, the web swinging, it all feels tangible. It all just doesn't look like a freaking video game sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like let's get back to the sauce, let's get back to, you know, just great filmmaking. Um, you know, you can have a great story, you can have a great script, but Visually, I want there to be a director that brings a visual style and a visual flavor to the way Spider-Man 4 is brought to life. And that's kind of like the biggest thing on my wish list for when it comes to whoever ends up directing Spider-Man 4. Because Marvel, at the end of the day, Marvel's the one who developed the script. You know, Kevin Feige and the people at Marvel Studios, they already have a script and they don't even have a director. So the, dire the director's job is to come in and bring that script to life in the best way possible. And I hope whoever signs on to do that job and get that job done they bring a visual flair to that. So with that being said, let me know in the comment section down below. What did, did you guys think of all of these details we've gotten for Spider-Man 4? Again, we know it's gonna start filming in September, October. We know Drew Goddard and Justin Lin are being eyed to direct. It's either gonna be one or the other or maybe someone else. And to, both Tom Holland and Zendaya are returning for Spider-Man 4. So let me know in the comment section down below. What, what do you guys think of all of this different news? What excites you the most? And with that being said, make sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified for future videos. Thank you guys for watching this one. I love you guys 3000, and I'll see you guys next time.